Good morning, everyone. My name is Sui Chang Joey, a PhD student from the North Carolina State University. So today I'm going to present one of our current research, which focuses on assessing the effectiveness of artisanal drug maintenance in protected area, and share some of the result and insight we found. I believe all of you have some experience on hiking. When you hike, you probably notice that not all the trails in the protected area are in good conditions. And here are some common trail problems that are documented in the past trail literature. It includes the excessive trail width, soil compaction and erosions, tree exposure, muddiness, parallel trail threats, and also the creation of uh, informal trail. So these biophysical problems occurred on a hiking trail can affect visitor experience by creating a visual impact. So it may not be pleasant to look at the trail with a lot of erosion problems. It also raised the safety concerns of the visitor, so the visitor may easily get trapped by the exposed tree roots. It can also deteriorate the trail functions of protecting the natural habitats and resources by off trail hiking behavior and also the landscape fermentations. So to fix these problems, we need an effective trail maintenance that can improve the trail conditions, preserve its functions, and also enhance visitor experience in the protected area. And currently, there are two methods that are commonly applied by protected area agency to construct or restore trails. The first one is the artisanal method, which is a traditional handmade method to construct a new trail or restore a degraded trail using natural materials, such as gravel, rocks, and woods. The second one is the mechanical method, which is uh, using the Trail building machines to remove the surface material and compact the underlying soil to create a trail flat surface. So in our study, we are focused on the artisanal method because it has been widely advocated and applied in many protected areas in different countries. Some Asian countries and cities such as Japan, Taiwan and Hong Kong, their protected area agencies widely apply this method to restore the degraded trails. And also in the United States, the Appalachian Trail were also built using this traditional handmade method in the early 20th century. The two major reasons why artisanal method has been advocated. First, it preserved the natural appearance of the trails. For example, the picture here shows the historical trail in Japan, which is built 400 years ago. The artisanal method can restore the degraded trail by replacing rocks so it can maintain the natural appearance of the trail threat surface and also retain the historical value of the trail. And the second reason is to retain the local knowledge and the traditional skills of building trails using a handmade method. As we know, the artisanal method is widely applied in protected areas in the world. But there's lack of research provides scientific evidence on the effectiveness of artisanal methods. So if the managers apply the artisanal method to restore the degraded trails, how the trail condition can improve it, and how long the maintained trail can sustain. So there's a lack of scientific research to tell us how effective the artisanal method is and support of advocacy and apply of applying it in the protected area. So to fill in this research gap, uh, our study aimed at evaluate the effectiveness of artisanal trail maintenance specifically in biophysical and social aspects. The objective are to identify the changes in trail physical conditions and also investigate um, trail user behavior on the study trails before and after the trail maintenance is implemented. So our study was conducted in Shenmun Country Park, which is one of the most popular country parks in Hong Kong. The Agricultural Fishery and Conservation Department, AFCD, is the government agency who is responsible for managing all the country parks in Hong Kong. They recently implemented some trail maintenance work to restore the degraded trail using the artisanal method. Our, after our communication and coordination with the agency, we conduct our study on two trails in the park. The first one is the Pineapple Dam Nature Trail, which is a relatively short hiking tra trail with gentle terrain. Another study trail is the Needle Hill Trail, which is a 2 km trail with a relatively steep terrain. And here are some pictures showing the study trail sections of both trails. Uh, we can see that part of the Pineapple Dam Nature Trail was covered by concrete stairs, and another part was a natural surfaces path before the maintenance. And due to maintenance, they removed the concrete stairs and replaced it with uh, wooden stairs. For the Needle Hill Trail, the trail was exploded 
with uh, bare soils and erosional features before the maintenance. And the trail maintenance restored the erosional pro restored some of the uh, erosional problem by building uh, some stony steps. And this study evaluated the effectiveness of artisanal trail maintenance by comparing the trail conditions and physical behavior of the study trails before and after the maintenance is implemented. So to assess the biophysical condition of the trails, an integrated approach uh, of sampling-based assessment and census-based assessment were utilized in both study trails and control trails. The two table on the right shows the uh, indicator features and events that were measured and recorded in our trail assessment. Notice that in the sampling-based trail assessment, we have three trail width indicators. The designer trail width refers to the width of the trail flat surface that receive management interventions, such as flat surfacing. And the uh, um, trail threat width defined as the trail threat surface that receives more than 95% of human traffic, and while the full trail width uh, refers to the entire width of the trail corridor. We also observe our uh, physical behavior of hiking on trail and off trail on both study trails, and by observing their behavior before and after the trail maintenance, we can understand how visitors behave with the changes of trail physical conditions. And thanks for all the hard work from the trail maintenance worker on restoring the trail using the artisanal method. Now we can compare the trail condition before and after the trail maintenance. So overall, the artisanal trail maintenance implement on both study trails has a positive effect on enhancing the trail physical conditions. For the Pineapple Dam Nature Trail, it has a significant changes in the full trail width and the trail threat width during the study period. So the full trail width was significantly decreased by 20% from nearly 3 meters wide before the maintenance to 2.3 meters wide after the maintenance. The mean trail threat width was uh, greatly reduced by 28%. And all these changes are mainly because of building the wooden stairs, so which create a very clear trail boundary and the design the trail width of the trail sections. And the wooden stair also flattened the trail profile, which caused uh, the which caused substantial reductions in the average measurement incision depth from 10 cm before the maintenance to 4.2 cm after the maintenance. For the Needle Hill Trail, uh, the changes of the trail width indicators are not obvious in our study, but it has a more significant result in change the average measurement incision depth and the cross-sectional area. So from this picture taken before the maintenance, we know that erosion was actively occur in these trail sections. There were scar left from the surface water flow and also potholes were found along the trails. And during the maintenance, they built those steps using rock, which smoothened the trail cross-sectional profile and reduced the surface roughness of the trail. And that leads to the significant reductions in the maximum incision depth and also the cross-sectional area. So all the results we show right now uh, indicate that artisanal methods has a positive effect on enhancing the trail physical conditions on both trails. And now we want to know how visitors behave with the improved the trail conditions. So the result of the Pineapple Dam Nature Trail shows a, sustain a sustainable change in visitor behavior before and after the maintenance. The number of visitors who stay within the designer trail width increased substantially from over 66% before the maintenance to more than 99% after the maintenance, while the number of visitors who hike off trail was sharply reduced to less than 1%. So it mainly because the maintenance extended the designer trail width from the width of the concrete stair to the width of the wooden stair. With a wider trail width, people are less likely to hike off trail when they encounter another hiker. Also, the morphology of the landscape affects physical behavior. The steep slope next to the wooden stair forced visitors to hike on the designer trail width instead of hiking off trail due to the safety concern. And for the Needle Hill Trail, it has a, a contrasting result with the Pineapple Dam Nature Trails. So after the maintenance is completed, over 71% of visitors hike off trail and only 28% of them stay within the designer trail width. A possible re uh, reason uh, is that the Needle Hill Trail has a wide trail width but a narrow descender trail width. Uh, 
when uh, people encounter a hiker on the trails, they are less likely to stay on the descended trail worth. Instead, they, ha they hike uh, on the natural surface path next to the stony step to avoid human traffic. So we identified that the artisanal trail maintenance has a positive effect on improving um, the trail physical condition, at least in the short term. When the trail physical condition enhanced, we expect to see people stay within the designer trail width. However, the result of the physical behavioral observation told us that it may not always result in a positive outcome when the trail conditions are improved. So for the Pineapple Dam Nature Trail, after the trail maintenance is implemented, the number of visitors hike off trail are greatly reduced. And this found they match with the past literature conducted in the Pennyway in UK. That research also found that the number of visitors hike off trail reduced significantly to only 3.8% after the trail resurfacing. And it, and it indicates the improved trail condition can encourage visitors to stay on the trail work and avoid those off-trail behavior. But at the same time, the Needle Hill Trail show us a different result, which uh, there's a number of visitors still hike off trail after the trail condition are improved. So there's other factors playing a role in affecting physical behavior on trails. And based on our result, um, the artisanal method should be considered a variable approach for enhancing the condition of the trail in protected areas. But there are a few considerations for applying the artisanal method. First, managers should identify and understand their management goal before implement any trail maintenance. If they just want to fix some trail problems such as erosion, then artisanal uh, trail maintenance is applicable to do that. But if they want to enhance the trail condition, at the same time they want their visitor to stay on the designer trail with instead of, of going off trail, then they should plan out their trail design and layout carefully before the maintenance. And they can also utilize the local landscape morphology to guide the visitors to stay on the trail. They also need to think about uh, the natural material surface pavement and also visitor use. If a trail has a heavy visitor use, they may need to consider using the material that are more resistant to trampling, such as rocks and gravel instead of woods and logs. And our study identified and evaluated the immediate effectiveness of artisanal trail maintenance, so we assessed the trail condition before and right after the trail maintenance. But we need more research to assess the long-term effectiveness of the artisanal method. We also recommend to use a mixed research method to assess the effectiveness of any trail management actions or maintenance method. So we used the field measurement, behavior observation, and physical survey in order to have a comprehensive understanding on both trail physical conditions and physical uh, behavior and experience. But due to the time limitation here, we did not present our result of the physical survey here. But if you're interested, feel free to contact us. And that's all I have for today. Um, thanks for listening. And if you have any questions or you're interested in our results, feel free to send me an email. And thank you.